Pokemon fans and welcome back to our brand new episode of Pokemon Scarlet. This is episode number 4 and as you have seen in the previous episode that we were off for our treasure hunt that was organized by school and we were able to do our very first challenge of gym and now we are on towards the next stuff that is the path of legend and going for the very first titan Pokemon the, Ro uh, the stony cliff titan that's what name is it is all right we are at the west gate of Mezagoza. Is that west? No, no, that's east. Sorry. A picnic spot. I just went shopping for sandwich ingredients and brought a lot of them. Want to have a hand on them? I would like to hand take them. Okay. Well, by the way, if you don't know that we were able to catch a new Pokemon, Tinker Ting, which was uh, around the ruins uh, during my during the, the gym challenge, I was able to find it out. Hey, new cat, I know what's up around here. Let me take a look at your Pokemon Fire. Yeah, so I was able to find out around that place. So you can also look out for it. Will be around the ruins, of course. Now that's a steel and fairy type by the way if you don't know. Okay, since we are uh, very much familiar with the uh, Titan Pokemon we're gonna be meeting, it's the Cloth, that's a rock type Pokemon. So I think we are pretty much good in uh, keeping the Pokemon which are super effective against rock like uh, we have grass type uh, and then we have the steel type also now hey that's a new pokemon uh we have seen that in the cutscene uh, at the first episode it's knuckly <laughs> rock type pokemon rock salt pokemon actually well it is properly registered even our pokedex Well, it is very much important to do a let's go experience whenever you got the chance so that you can not only gain experience point but also collect the items that are required for uh, uh, making TMs also. Uh, you can see someone, it's Gimme Gold, that's a roaming form. Well, if you don't know that we were able to catch a gimme goal that is chest form in the previous episode. Now these the gimme goals are required for the evolution of the chest form. The roaming one are required actually. Uh, around 999 are required uh, for uh, evolution of gimme goal. So we're gonna be looking out whenever we can. Or otherwise uh, we can also unofficially, not in a video that's for, can look out uh, again for them. Come on, if Koridon just could uh, jump much higher, that would have been a job easy task. Uh, there you go. Hey, there's a cave. To Mezagoza shortcut. Sorry, to Arta Zone. Shortcut? It's a shortcut. But for this shortcut to find out, we need to find that cliff also, na? so that we can climb on it. Yeah, the next city is the uh, Arta Zone. There, that's where we are having our second gym challenge. But before that, we will be covering up the Titan Pokemon first. Then we will be heading for the Arta Zone. Maybe in the next episode. Time gonna tell how much uh, time. It's gonna take to reach to the very first title po uh, titan pokemon of course
well by the way if i haven't shown a terra wild pokemon then it's going to be the time for that because we just found one and we know what it is since we have seen it in the trailer itself it is going to be the jigglypuff definitely it's a jigglypuff and of course what terra type it is going to be it is a water type so catching a terra pokemon in a wild is very much easy as compared to the terra dance of course you just have to lower the HP, then sterilization form uh, breaks down, and then when that's when we can use the Pokeball to catch him. There you go. Practical also soon. Terrestrialization for is uh, broken. Now we can use the Pokeball. I already know that you are going to be water type. How cool is that? There you have it. It's not a new Pokemon, but it's still. Alright, let's move on. We got a Terra Den also. That is the Ice type Pokemon, definitely. Okay, if we finally reach uh, our very first uh, pit stop, you can say, or you can say Pokemon Center. Right before we're gonna be finding a Titan Pokemon. Dun 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 dun. That's the sound of healing of the Pokemon Center. Of course, I think you are pretty much familiar with it. Huh? Maybe. You always go there. Guess I better go ask for another round of dun 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 dun. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, since how many Pokemon we were able to find over here? Rookie D, Palmy, then we have Makovita, then we got uh, Shinx also. There you go. Ah, come on. I wish for I don't call it. Uh, join much higher well by the way we haven't uh, fully unlocked the full potential of our mobile mobility for ride on you can say a mobile go ride on let's stop for the healing of our pokemon first if you have defeated three trainer once you defeat six trainer so i gotta find a six trainer out there in the in this place yeah, that's about it. So far, we haven't uh, got in touch with uh, Arvin about uh, learning about the Titan Pokemon, of course. Let's see when we will uh, get in touch with him. All our tips are done now about learning of this game. Ah, Rotom is ringing. It's Arvin. So, from what I can gather, the Stony Cliff Titan likes to lurk somewhere in this rocky area. I had a look around, but I couldn't find any trace of it. Maybe it's a way up high on the cliff or something? Nah, that's impossible. I don't think it would be hiding somewhere that friggy. So, don't go falling off any cliff or anything, trying to search it out somewhere too strange. Maybe just give your map app a look if you are feeling stumped. It's pretty helpful, you know that? Yeah, he is right about that. Using a map is pretty much uh, helpful for uh, for us, not only for us, also for you also if you are playing this game. And there you go. Hey, is that Armor Rouge pre-war form? Even we saw that uh, in the leaked photograph, in the leaked trailer of course. Yeah, let's go look out for it. Maybe we could find it. I really want an Armor Rouge in my team. Well, by the way, if you don't know, Armor Rouge is uh, exclusively, exclusively for Pokemon Scarlet. And Cerulege is exclusively for uh, 
Pokemon Violet. And uh, we want a fire Pokemon right, uh, very in need. We haven't found one actually even here. Uh, till the places I have been uh, running around and exploring. Definitely, you know. I want a fire Pokemon from Parlia region. Not from uh, old generation, of course. Since we are very much focusing on raising the this region Pokemon only, the generation 9. Let's get Dead Standler. It seems he is uh, pretty much uh, powerful. Okay, since we were not able to find one, the armor with pre wall form, maybe I will give it uh, some rest for now. Maybe look out for uh, next time. Officer sent out a Jigglypuff, and the next one he sent out was Skidoo. Wasn't match for me, of course. Now I have to really take care uh, how much Pokemon, uh, how much I have to evolve my Pokemon, of course. Because uh, the maximum level which uh, Pokemon gonna obey me is the level 25, and for that to increase, we need uh, the second gym gym badge. So we do have to look out for that. Still not able to find out. I thought maybe at night we could find out that Pokemon. There you go. We could find that. Uh, that's a normal cloth, by the way. Let's see if we can catch it. Where it's gone? Ah, uh, there it is. Of course, Scratch type moves are going to be super effective, and that was too much effective to take down in one hit. So we weren't able to catch it out. Maybe later on. Maybe we could catch a Titan Pokemon. Suddenly from the bushes. Bad news never saw that coming. It's a sun gun. Of course, our next gym challenge is going to be the graph type gym leader. Nah? We have to prepare for that and we need a fired up Pokemon for that also. Since we don't have any uh, flying type as well. The only thing we have is a Wooper as the poison type that is going to be helpful for us. Alright. As we are moving up. I think we are very much uh, getting closer to the path of legend first titan pokemon well if you want to read about it this is it if you want you can read it out i don't want to read it for you right now we just set as the destination and we are off okay we got a wash tower first let's mark that you know map so that it will be easy for us to Move here and there through flying taxis. Skidoo. Another picnic guy and gonna help me in healing my Pokemon. Come on. Yeah, at the distance you can see a Pokemon Center. That's where we have to go for our next week challenge. But let's save it for the later episode. Thanks man. I think sunrise is about to happen soon. And we still haven't got a trace of the sorry trace of the part titan Pokemon yet. The only thing we were able to find was a normal cloth roaming here and there. was incredible what was incredible 
there was that rock wall there was a that pokemon uh, incredible you know are you talking about the titan pokemon level on quite good what paomi is evolving okay now that's interesting let's see what it evolves into what paomi evolved into paomo the only difference i'm finding out is a bigger in size and running on two legs now Is it still a electric type? No, it's electric and fighting type now. That's good. We haven't had a electric and fighting type Pokemon na, before. Yeah. You even have to look out for this Shruda. Na. Maybe it will go into a giraffe. Uh, what was that name? Giraffe AI, whatever. All right, let's climb this watchtower, and we know what is it is at the top. It's giving all chest bomb, of course. Anything? Nothing. I thought maybe we could find uh, one TM also. Ah, there it is. Metronome. And that is what touches uh, uh, gimme goal is. Okay, we got a Teradan in front of us, but we are not looking for it right now. Maybe after defeating the Titan Pokemon, we will come back because we already have to find the that new Pokemon Fire type. Hey, that's the Titan Pokemon. Okay, let's begin th this game now. Finally, our very second task and the very first one of Path of Legend. Where do you think you are going, man? It's going upward. Is there a way to go up? I have to find it. Yeah, there you go. Let's follow it up. Do you really want to fight out or what? There you go. What is the level? I'm pretty much not getting any specified level of this Pokemon. Hey, running away? Just a little of HP more lift, uh, remaining. Find the Stony Cliff Titan. Let's see where he is off to. Uh, he's uh, right there. Okay, ready to run? Okay. Cool. That's Harba Mystica. Why is he eating? Arvin is there. Karan, you found it. And that thing says the Stony Cliff Titan? No cloth has got any business being that big. Is it gonna be even stronger now after winning eating those herbs? Let's watch ourselves, Karan. Oh, that looks powerful now. Much more powerful. Well, this is looking a little rough, Shella. Let's have it up a helping of the weed on the half shell. You got Shella? Nice choice, my friend. He's targeting Shelder.
paper is got no math for us and there you go very easy peasy the titan pokemon is defeated what happened ah lichong is evolving too so we are witnessing another evolution of the new pokemon and lichong evolved into a big pig evolved into oinkolong oinkolong does it uh, become different type also no it's just a normal type and it's a male so that means a female version also going to be there and it pretty much going to be different for what we are witnessing all right look at my little buddy but this side pokemon ah uh, yeah i sure don't have like having something so tough out i bet somewhere in here there's more of that herba mystica that i didn't was eating quick let's have a look around before it uh, comes back again it will come back also no? that would be wonderful if you come back again watch your step it's pretty dark no way and that there it is the herba mystica this is one of the herba mystica it exactly how it looked in the book Sweet Herba Mystica. Yes, we actually found one and it's all thanks to you. Now then, let's see what does the book have to say. It says here that the Sweet Herba Mystica is good for gut health and that it helps aid digestion. Say so it's great for stomach ache too or when you want to stimulate the appetite. Now if I can just get him to eat some. Alright, now it's my time to show off what I can do. You are about to get a taste of my cooking. What do you mean by give it some herba mystica? Are you talking about Coridon? Here you go. And I have an original sandwich packed full of herbs. And I will even get you a badge. And you know, as a thank you for taking out that Titan Pokemon. I call it a Titan badge. Made myself using a replica of the gym badge. See? That's good. We are getting a badge also for defeating a Titan Pokemon. I wonder if we are going to be getting badge for uh, the Star Force Street event also. Uh, what's up with that thing? It just came out of its Pokeball on its own whenever it wants. I think he loves sandwich maybe. You want some do you? Hey now no that's not for you. Do you want to give your sandwich to Coridon? This is mine. There you go. Hey, I went through all the trouble of making that for you and you just gave it away. I hope you realize that's all there was. So now there's no none left for you. That's totally fine. Ah, come on. Now you're making me feel like I'm the selfish jerk here. Here you can have half of mine, but you better save every last bite. Huh? You already ate that whole thing. Oh, what just happened? We'll be able to dash now. That means move faster. What? Hey, is it me or has this thing sort of powered up somehow? Oh, I can't believe it. The power of these album really is worth giving try. Uh, if they had that big an effect on your Pokemon, then I bet. I bet it will come in super handy for that treasure hunt assignment we have got. Yep, that's what I bet. Well, you both filled the uh, valleys with some of my legendary cooking. Guess it's time to tidy up everything up. Oh, don't you worry about helping. After battling the Titan, you earned a break. Just leave all this to me, though I would be much obliged if you got a start on searching out the remaining four Herba Mystica for us. Well, you can count on me, Herbin. Let's find out that pre evolved form of Harpoonoosh. I really owe you. Okay, the coast is clear. Huh? 
you can come out now. That's the sound of a Pokeball. Did he just uh, send out one of his Pokemon? Hello, Grant. This is Sada. I uh, detect that Crydon has regained some of its original power. It seems it will now be able to dash at high speed while you are riding upon it. Okay, by pressing the left tree, but watch out for trees when dashing at high speed. If you strike a tree while, tree while dashing, popular looking up among the branches will fall down, allowing you to battle them. I hope you will continue to explore Parlia with Coridon as you have done. Your route is not fixed, but open before you. Seek out your own path using your map and the tools you have got. Whenever you find your curiosity picked, you should go and explore as your heart desire. All that you experience will help you grow in some way. Go for it on your journey and take good care of Coridon. Okay. Now there's no way we can show the gym challenge also in the in this episode of course so we're gonna be finishing up this episode by doing that taradan and of course finding the fire type pokemon and on the next episode i am telling you right now that we are going to have our second gym challenge and of course our very first star for street challenge maybe the mission of operation star for so stay tuned for the next episode as well that's the taradan i was talking about let's see what kind of pokemon will, is in there of course a poison terror type is there. It's a new one. I can't recognize that one. Who's that Pokemon? Okay, if you want to defeat a poison type, we need a ground type. And for that, Wooper is more than enough. Hey, that's a brand new Pokemon. From 9th generation. But what is its name? Its name is Warum. Warum. Is it some kind of a car? It yeah, looks like it. Maybe a land mover. Or you can say grass mover. There you go. We weakened it up. And it's time to catch. We got a room. Is it a steel type Pokemon? It does look like it though. It's a steel type but also a poison type. I think it is going to be... Yes. It is going to be 4 times effective against the ground type move. That's not good. Dual type has many disadvantages in this case. Okay. There you go. We got the power den. Sorry, Terra dance also. Now the only thing remaining is to that find that fire type Pokemon, and then we're gonna be ending up this episode, of course. Well, the ruins which was uh, I was uh, talking about earlier. It's gonna be looking like this, and that's where you're gonna be finding a tin cutting. But around the court round, you're gonna have to find out. But I have already shown you here, you can also come out from here, also. It's bronzer, okay? Nothing new about that. And there you have it, folks. After hours of game play, we were able to discover that we find a new Pokemon that's a Char Cadet. It's a fire child Pokemon and a fire type, of course. It does look like a small child of Armor Rouge. And there you have it, folks. This is all about this episode. I hope you like one. If you do, do hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, do subscribe. And we're gonna be seeing you in my next one then. Until then, goodbye.